If you're enjoying our content, please consider going to our Patreon and becoming a supporter. There are different tiers to select from, and we thank you for your support. Hey, thanks for tuning in to What's in the Box. I'm your host, GQ. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit the like button, Let's hit the go, notification Bob. bell. Check us out on culturejunkies.net. Also go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and search Culture Junkies. You'll find us. Make sure you log in, join us. Hit us up in all the places that we're at because you definitely want to stay on top of the things that we're doing. So, for What's in the Box today, we've got the Muhomano Wolverine from Bandai. The box is very cool. The image of the figure, outstanding. So let's get right into this one. There he is in the box at all his glory. Just for that side shot there, just in case you need to see that. Of course you want to see that. But let's get him out of this box. I actually saw this when I was in California and decided that I need to get this because it's actually the first time I'd ever saw, saw this particular figure. Uh, Wolverine has always been one of my favorite characters. I'm sure he's a favorite of a lot of people out there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up. And we're going to take a peek at him. All right. Okay, his claws. He's got different types of claws that can be used, which is cool. Go ahead and pull that away. As you can see, his claws <laughs> come off very easily. But then again, that's probably a good thing so you can, because if you want to switch to some of the different styles that they have, you don't want to be sitting here struggling with it and fighting with it all day. So, very cool. He's got the, uh, of course, the samurai inspired look which also blends very well with his original design. So they've done a great job with that. I will of course get some close-ups on some of the different claw styles that he comes with. Um, I mean, very, very cool. I'll, like I said, we'll get some shots of that. Of course, we have his traditional style claws and on here he's actually got hook claws uh, already attached. So as far as points of articulation, he's got some, of course, rotation. Uh, bends at the elbow, the usual stuff. Of course, bends at the knee. Uh, how much leg motion does he have, given that he's... Uh, a little bit of leg motion there, given that he's got this armor on. But realistically, we all know him standing up straight is actually good enough. He's got us... Uh, nope, that would have been a cool detail if that little wakizashi in the front would have come out. But it doesn't, so no big deal. So, Muhamono Wolverine from Bandai. Like I said, we'll have some shots of some close-ups and some cool looks there. So that's what's been in the box this time around. I, again, am GQ for what's in the box. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Rookie. Like the videos, leave some comments, let us know what you think about this particular figure or any of the other figures from Bandai because they also have a Star Wars line as well. So let us know what you think about some of that stuff. Let us know what you think about the videos and how we're doing. Also, check out our live show. So once you hit subscribe, and once you hit the notification bell, when we go live on YouTube, you will know it. And we do have some fun on that show. So, again, for What's in the Box, I'm GQ. I'll see you guys next time. Culture Junkies!